Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and uh, this is just a quick video here. If you're playing Anthem and you're having some real serious problems with your FPS, then there's a couple things that you can try that uh, will make a really big difference. So the first thing that you can try, here you'll notice my FPS is, is right around 50. First thing you can try here is just making sure in your settings, that your video, uh, and I have this set to 1680 by 1050 because I have um, all the advanced settings set to ultra, but you can run this, actually you can run it fairly smoothly. Um, at 4K at 15 frames a second, believe it or not, it's fairly gnarly. Okay, so here I'm gonna go into borderless mode and you're gonna see there's a drastic decrease in FPS here in the game. So we're at 20 frames a second here in borderless mode. And going back here to video, graphic settings, we're just gonna switch this back to full screen. And again, you're gonna see that really big jump right there and by default mine was set to borderless so this is a big deal here full screen mode uh, i'm just going to show you here at, at uh, 4k <clears throat> now believe it or not i am also uh, i'm also running on battery power I actually have a battery pack here um, that i'll be doing a video on here you can see right here this is running off this is a 65 watt power delivery uh, enabled um, charger. And I will give you details of that on the next video, so please subscribe. All right, 4K, running on a battery. And here you can see it's actually quite a smooth 4K. Let's go ahead and jump into the game so you can see what this looks like. And we'll talk about the next tip. Um, obviously dropping the resolution. I think if your eyesight's not phenomenal, then having 4K on a laptop screen is it's a little bit um, excessive. Uh, here, we're gonna go ahead and start this. So you can see what this looks like. Now, I would rather have the settings set to um, lower resolution because it's, it's going to look fairly close to the same and then have all of the effects really high. Uh, by the way, if you haven't tried Anthem yet, you can try it out um, for $15 and you can try it out for a month by subscribing to uh, EA's or Origin Premier Access, which is available on EA.com or Origin, uh, I'm not sure if it's Origin.com or not, but $15, and you can give this game a shot, try it out for a month, if you don't like it, just cancel the membership. All right, so this is 4K. So this is 4K, again, running on a portable battery, and it's pretty smooth. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch this uh, out of 
4K mode. And again, I... This next place will be bloody. You must the 1650 is, is... 1680 by 1050 is basically half of that resolution. <coughs> and you would think maybe that would give you twice as much FPS and you'd, you'd be correct. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so this is nice and smooth and, and frankly, like I said, I think it looks pretty darn close to the same. Alright, so last tip. I don't like the way that one was flapping its wings. So, here the last tip uh, I will show you right after I finish this mission. <laughs> All right, I'll be back in a moment. The next tip here, and you can play around with this. I'm not sure how much this actually makes too much of a difference, but it works with a couple other things. So I'm going to point it out here for you guys to test out and put in the comments where this works for you. So this is set to optimal power here in power management mode, you can go in and select this individually uh, for Anthem specifically in the NVIDIA control panel. It always takes a long time getting this to queue up. So you can go down here and set this. Uh, I have this prefer maximum performance. We're going to set this back to use global settings and then we're going to change global settings. Um, global settings set to optimal. So we're going to see the difference between prefer maximum performance, which is about 37 to 42 frames per second in the section that I'm in. So I'm going to click apply. And let's see. All right, that's set. Let's go ahead and close this and switch back over to the game. See if there's any difference. It looks, looks actually like it's running a little bit smoother. Um, just keep it at that, right? All right, optimal is better, apparently. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and run back into the game. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Again, in the next video, we're going to be talking about um, how I'm running this. I'm running this off of a battery pack. I'm not even plugged into the wall right now. So if you guys want to hear more about that, it's a battery pack with a cable, a USB-C cable that is going directly to surface adapter. It's pretty cool stuff. All right, check it out in the next video.